Yeah. We're here in North Jersey at the world famous No Job Cards. You guys remember Ozzy? This is Greg, going, the everybody? CEO founder. What's up, Bob? We've been here all weekend, and we're going to be here for the show. You guys remember Ozzy? He was giving us the deals in Dallas. Hell yeah. But now he's leaving us. Young Oz. Young Oz. Young Oz. We'll see you at... Uh, White Plains. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Greg, tell them a little bit about your store. Honestly, guys, it's the world famous No Job Cards. We're right here in Morristown, New Jersey. It's been tremendous so far being here. The last five months we've been open and the town has just been amazing. The response uh, the community has given us has been, you know, it's been excellent to be honest with you guys. A lot of young collectors come into the store every single day. We have a ton of stuff for them. And then we got the, the more of the traditional collectors that come in for the wax. And um, yeah, it's been, it's been great. Kind of rolled through, finally rolled through. It's a hard man to, uh, you know, lock in on a date. But I told him, I was like, bro, you pull up the jersey, I'm telling you, it's not what you think it is, and I think we've like shown him that so far. So, and this is John's first time ever in Jersey or New York, so yes, sir. this area. So, yeah, it is. you know, we're having fun. We're gaining a couple pounds. Good pizza. <laughs> good pizza. Good food. Look, they got the streaming going on. They got the magic going on in here. Look at this live action. What up, guys? Yes, sir. <laughs> They're breaking 24/7 on the WhatNot app. You guys got to give them a follow. Show them so much love because they show us a lot of love. And we always appreciate that. Look, so they got the fire here. Like, all right, if it lands on, if it lands on they got yellow, singles, they got the value those. bins, they got memorabilia, like, they got the chill spot over here. I mean, what else can you ask for? Look, they even got a place for me to relax and sit down. Feel good then? <laughs> I feel great. <laughs> you want to tell them about outside or they're not ready? Outside? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's active outside. <laughs> it's active outside. <laughs> what the hell's going on back there? Bro, there's a spider coming out of his hand. And I gave his ass like that. Did you, oh, yeah. Did you get him? Did you get him though? He started jumping at me. I don't know, bro. Is it on me? No. Okay. <laughs> spider? That's we try to kill to a spider and it disappears, bro. Fuck that. Oh, uh, now you it. now they got me. Are you guys scared of spiders? Well, if it's like oh, radio, I'm good, I'm good on the spider. Now. I'm, I'm terrified. I'm actually, I'm actually not scared of spiders. <laughs> I'm fucking terrified right now. He said it could be anywhere. My it's back was turned. My back was turned. I think like my worst nightmare is a snake. Yeah, I don't fuck snakes. Not spiders though. Spiders, I just be. I feel like it's on my back now. You just grab a you know a sandal. So you never witness a big one. Pause. Pause. <laughs> this man thought it was his birthday. Today. Yeah, so I got the cake batter. It's With some Reese's Pieces. Yo, we just got this new flavor. Check this out. It's the banana Oreo. That's what John and I are getting. Banana oh Oreo. Oh my god, I never, oh, never thought so about it. so good. Oh my god. Greg, tell them a little bit about how you got started with No Job. Oh, Look. We just got some ice cream, but now we're gonna ask Greg a couple couple questions off the spot. He invited us to some nice ice cream. Now we gotta know. Tell him the background story of No Job. I was living in Cali. Me and my uh, business partner at the time, we were just like trying to figure out a way to like identify ourselves out in California because we saw that like branding is, plays like a really big role in society today. As young entrepreneurs being in LA, we felt like that like really met like our uh, matched our demeanor. Like, I just feel like, I don't got no nine to five, but I got a 24 seven. We, we did a few businesses and it went up and down. And then when we got back in the cards, bro, I just had no other name. I was gonna make it Greg Cards. So I was like, all right, I'll just run with the no job. We just never changed it. So that's what it is. I'm just trying to attract more people that are like-minded individuals, very business and growth focused. So there you go. Kind of. So like, why Jersey? I mean, I don't know. I, this is where I grew up. This okay. is where all my, my people were from and my family. And uh, I was born in Texas, but I was adopted. So I, I grew up here in New Jersey. And I don't know. I think at a certain point in time, I realized that you could grow a business anywhere in this country. And I realized that this is like a team type of business. And I just realized I can assemble the best team here in, in my home town, you know, the Garden State. So, Jets fan? You already know. That's the only team I care about. Crazy! Only team. Great. No, I'm not a front runner. I've been a Jets fan since I've been five years old. So hopefully we get, we get one good fucking season. I got introduced to cards by my, my grandfather and my dad. They would take me to like the local car, you know, the local hobby shop here, like down the street, next town over in Mars Plains. I would go after baseball games, football games. If I got like an A out of my report card, there's like a vending machine at like the grocery store, and my mom would give me like one pack for every A. So like I got involved in the hobby like pretty early. Like I started collecting. Um, just going to the card store and going to the little, you know, events that they would throw and uh, just not sure if I'd ever be back again. Kind of got me like really like, like I always liked numbers, like how we talked about earlier and I've always loved sports. 
So like just seeing like like the player stats on the back of the card and the little bios like on the back of the card, like I would just like sit back and like like as a kid and just like look at that. And then I got introduced to um like what breaking was as, as a kid. I did a break, and I, but I wasn't the, the like the main guy. It was like I was like the helper. And then Scott, who worked at the the card store, he was the guy who like did the break. And like I just was like twelve, and then I would be watching pre-recorded breaks on YouTube from a couple different companies and at a certain point I was just like like I did like I had like 100 subscribers like I did my own little mail days and bullshit and like bro I just got into high school and I was like bro I'm trying to get some chicks like I'm not even gonna lie like I don't think anyone in my school would think it would be cool for me to do cards and I was very like insecure self-conscious so I just stopped collecting and uh put my cards off to the side you know it really wasn't three years ago you know it's kind of like gotcha but that's, that's what gave me the advantage, though, coming back, like, three and a half years ago, like, coming back, I already knew, like, bro, as a kid, I already knew the parallels, the sets, the brands, kind of how the whole gist of it worked. Yeah. Legacy sports cards in Las Vegas, thank you, y'all changed my life, and you guys don't even know that, but, like, I watched them when I was, like, a fucking kid, and then, like, I'm in Vegas, I'm in the casino, I made a bet, I won the bet. I can either just go to Gen out with my winnings, <laughs> yeah. like, 60 fucking dollars, or, like, I could go to like, and then I was like, oh shit, if I'm gonna sports bet, like, the cards, and then like, it clicked for me, and then I was like, oh my god, Legacy's here, and I'd go in the Legacy, and like, got reintroduced to cards, and all I was buying was the 2019 Topps Chrome UFCs for $55 a box, and I remember when they raised the price to like $70, and I'm like, bro, I can't this. Anybody looking to start their own brand in this industry, and go to shop, potentially, what's like one piece of advice you'd give them? For getting started. Do your research. I think so many people are ready just like the jump the gun. Um, the industry we're in is like promoting like instant gratification, like, oh, you can open a box and get rich. But in reality, it's just like anything else. The more like, you know, the more it goes on for me, the more, you know, boring it gets in a sense because it, at the end of the day, like any real successful business in America or anywhere in this world, it's just numbers and like what we're leveraging is cards and players and brands and people just need to understand that like you have to start you don't need to be great to start but you got to start to be great and then the biggest thing is just having patience and believing in yourself i think that's one of the biggest things that i see with a lot of people with that are just starting off they just don't fully believe for me i was like not a lot of followers like i like in my mind was just was like I deserve the success. Like, I'm out here in the trenches, working hard every single damn day, like, running these streams, running to the post office, like, doing whatever it takes to make sure my customers are, are, are satisfied and good. And, like, not many people were just, like, willing to put the fucking work in. And, like, most people are soft, and that's why they don't get the results because they're just like, oh, someone's going to give it to me. But in reality, it's like, no, the only person that's going to give it to you is yourself. And, like... That's why you got to believe in yourself. So this year, we're, we're honestly just looking to expand as far as getting into the shows, as, as you know, um, just making more of a local presence that's really allowed, played a big impact on like just opening the store, seeing all the young people that come in and haven't even gotten into collecting. And that's crazy to just in itself to think about because, you know, we need to make sure that we like guide the young people that are coming here. Because for me, at least, like I, like I said earlier, like... When I started at 10 years old, if the, the owner of the shop didn't take care of me, like, if the people around me didn't take care of me, like, like yo, I'd be screwed. Like, I'd be like, you know, screw this hobby. Like, this, this, yeah. this, this shit sucks. But, like, in reality, like, it doesn't matter. Like, there's so many different things to do in this hobby. There's so many different ways to make money. There's so many different motives that, like, as long as you, like, really enjoy it, like, enjoy sports, enjoy people, like... You can be successful at it. Like that's kind of how I see it. Exciting times. Exciting times. Exciting times. And if you guys didn't know right now, also, he is hiring. We've been able to establish like a decent sized share of you know the marketplace. We've had you know quite some success on whatnot streaming. Over sixty five thousand followers. Over seven million dollars in sales. Over two hundred thousand items sent out, which is ridiculous. So, so a lot of mail. And we've came to the point now where we have a team of fifteen people. Our goal is to get it to 20 people, but it starts with 16. You know, it starts with that next person that's like, hey man, like, I need a little help, and I know that if I can bring my expertise, my talent, my energy, my thought process to no job, like, they're not only gonna just be a huge asset to 
the team, but be a huge asset to the other people, you know, that, that are around them. Because for, for us, it's super simple. Like you're a product of your environment. So if you're around other people that all want a little bit more in their lives, all treat their families really well, treat people really well, like we're going to keep getting more and more people just like that. So we're, we're looking for people like that. And like I said earlier on, on the balcony, I was like, bro, we need fucking dogs. Like at the end of the day, like we're, it, we're actually in the trenches. Like when people think streaming's easy, it's fun, da, 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 da. It's not. It's, it's a very hard. It's a lot of strategy. It's a lot of hard work. There's a lot of streams where we don't make any money at all. There's always usually something that could go wrong. And I think people just think it's a cakewalk. But at the same time, after doing $7 million in sales, like I can tell you that there is like super simple strategies to be successful right off the bat. And like, I'm excited to share that to the next person that I'm going to build up and like make a name. And, and that's the coolest thing about my platform is like, it's not about me. It's not about no job. It's about that person who's like, yo, I'm going to leverage the fuck out of, out of, out of no job. And like, it's going to be the stepping stone that I needed to get to the next level in my life. So, all right, guys, all show some love to Greg. Follow him on the whatnot app. Follow him on Instagram at no job cards. The famous, the world famous, world famous. the world, world famous, world famous, no job cards. They're here in New Jersey. Come visit them. Check them out. They're the goats. Yes, sir. Yeah, that shit was gas. I'm not gonna lie. I'm definitely gaining some weight just because of you. <laughs> they say that. Thank you for dinner. You're probably wrong, brother. Thank you, bro. There's two signs to wealth. First, hair loss. Second is weight gain. That's ha That's happy. Happiness. I didn't even see you eat that burrito, bro. I turned around and like it was gone. Like you inhaled that right. thing. It was a fucking wrap. First off. Uh, yeah, bro. This man <laughs> weak. Bro, he was on the phone. I'm eating my burger, and I don't even. S bro, this man just inhaled the whole, oh the whole. Ah, this dude's about to have. That shit vanished. Bro, it just vanished. Yeah, it really vanished. vanished. It did. It was, it was, it was, it was,